What is going on everyone? Welcome back on Block Gems. Today I want to talk again about NFT land and I talked about this topic in the previous video, in the video that I published three days ago. But I want to come back on this topic because I want to provide an update on how this narrative is unfolding. I also want to give you a general update about the market at large, the NFT space at large, and what I think it is going on right now in the space because I think that we are at a pivotal point. But before we jump into the content, guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and also join our Discord community, which you can find a link to in the description down below because it is there that we share the most valuable alpha and it is there that so many cool tools, analytics are available absolutely for free for now. Uh, especially regarding social signals. This is what we are building. So join our Discord community. You will find so much information, so much value there. So let's jump right in. And I wanted to start from NFT world, specifically because when I covered this three days ago, we were at about at around 3.6, 3.7 Ether. So we saw an appreciation in the past two or three days of around 35%, 30%, something like that. And the narrative for other universes is going to unfold, at least in my opinion, in pretty much similar way for the sandbox, for uh, the central land. And the central end is already starting to appreciate from 4.7 now is around 4.9. These are regular fl fluctuations, but I think uh, it is poised for a much larger and bigger rally. For a collection that is as big as the Sandbox, it might take more time for the Rally to kick in just because it takes more money for that entire collection to grow. It has so many uh, items and in general, sort of the capitalization is bigger if you want to talk in those terms. Now, I also wanted to touch upon a completely different topic that relates to the NFT space a large in terms of volumes and in terms of price action for the weeks that we have ahead of us. Now, you guys know that I very, very often present these charts uh, around volume. And what I want to highlight here, guys, is that we had from February the 1st till today, an enormous decrease in volumes. People are starting to be more afraid to trade. And in general, there is much less attention uh, much less uh, um, amount of transactions in the space, okay? So when was the last time that we have such a sharp run down in terms of volume? It was in August. It was at the very, very end of August when we had the, the sort of the first um, mini bear market for the NFT space. You guys remember that we had a really, really hot summer uh, for all these NFT avatar projects. So many avatar projects came out and everyone was buying into the Ana NFT avatar narrative. And then at the end of August, everything started to roll over, including uh, some of the highest valued collections. And these run down found a bottom in November. Now, this type of depreciation is very similar to what we are seeing we were seeing back at the end of august and what did i say in the last video i said the best returns right now might not be found in even blue chip nft projects unless you're willing to hold for a very very long time i mentioned this i said uh, now the best returns after we've seen this massive appreciation for the mutant apes for clone x something that we have covered on this channel something that we are called literally at the right moment but we have said also okay right now the narrative is moving to something else and i mentioned nft land is one of the spaces where this narrative is moving and in fact this is exactly what happened we we are seeing our run up there however i think that in general we are at a pivotal point for the nft space at large and this is mostly due to the fact that Ether is appreciating a lot in, in value. Look at the price action here. Uh, and we were at the bottom of the pit uh, at the end of January, precisely when we were 
at the top for the NFT space. And I talked extensively about these inverse correlation. And I know that I'm correlating volumes with price, which is something that nobody does. But this is the case, at least in my opinion, for this is proper, at least in my opinion, for the NFT space, because volume is a proxy for attention in the NFT space and attention drives liquidity and drives investment. People get afraid where when they do not find a buy. So when the volume is low, people tend to panic and really, really lower the price points uh, which they want to sell. So right now we are seeing a fairly strong rally in Ethereum. Uh, and I mentioned multiple times, or even on Twitter, even in the Discord community, I am right now in a contrarian camp. I think that Ethereum is poised for a rally. I said this at the end of January. Now, if we continue this way, probably Ether is going to look more and more attractive as an investment rather than illiquid JPEGs, rather than illiquid NFT avatars. And if this becomes the narrative, guys, then we have to be very careful. I'm not saying go ahead and sell everything, but maybe this could be the right moment for you to understand which are your risk, your riskiest bets in the NFT space. Liquidate the riskiest bets that you have, or at the very least, whatever you're not prepared to hold for a very long time. And very long time in the NFT space means six months, okay, or four months at least. Uh, and also get rid of the stuff on which you're not prepared to weather a lot of volatility. Uh, and this is because when Ether rallies, the NFT uh, market at large suffers. This is now an established pattern. We've seen this a couple of times already. Uh, people that are looking at the space from a more macro perspective know, know about it. And uh, I, I just wanted, I just felt compelled to report this to you. Of course, none of this is investment advice. I'm just telling you what I believe, what I think, and how I will, uh, uh, in general, play the, uh, the, the next few weeks. And guys, again, if you like this kind of content, in the Discord, we are building amazing tools uh, that will look at the social signals for NFT projects. And you can access them now as a sort of beta tester. For the moment, they are free. And I'm waiting for you there. I'm looking forward to meet you there. So I hope that this video was useful for you. And if that is the case, remember to subscribe and hit the like button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.